George Washington Carver was an African-American scientist and educator. Carver is famous for many inventions, including a number of uses for the peanut. George Washington Carver was born enslaved and went on to become one of the most prominent scientists and inventors of his time, as well as a teacher at the Tuskegee Institute. Carver devised over 100 products using one major crop, the peanut, including dyes, plastics, and gasoline. Carver was most likely born in 1864, enslaved in Diamond, Missouri during the Civil War years. Like many children of the enslaved, the exact year and date of his birth are unknown. Carver attended a series of schools before receiving his diploma at Minneapolis High School in Minneapolis, Kansas. Accepted to Highland College in Highland, Kansas, Carver was denied admittance once college administrators learned of his race. Instead of attending classes, he homesteaded a claim where he conducted biological experiments and compiled a geological collection. While interested in science, Carver was also interested in the arts. In 1890, he began studying art and music at Simpson College in Iowa, developing his painting and drawing skills through sketches of botanical samples. His obvious aptitude for drawing the natural world prompted a teacher to suggest that Carver enroll in the botany program at the Iowa State Agricultural College. Carver moved to Ames and began his botanical studies the following year as the first black student at Iowa State. Carver excelled in his studies. Upon completion of his Bachelor of Science degree, Carver's professors Joseph Budd and Lewis Pamel persuaded him to stay on for a master's degree. His graduate studies included intensive work in plant pathology at the Ira Experiment Station. In these years, Carver established his reputation as a brilliant botanist and began the work that he would pursue the remainder of his career. After graduating from Iowa State, Carver embarked on a career of teaching and research. Booker T. Washington, the founder of the historically black Tuskegee Institute, hired Carver to run the school's agricultural department in 1896. Washington lured the promising young black botanist to the institute with a hefty salary and the promise of two rooms on campus, while most faculty members lived with a roommate. Carver's special status stemmed from his accomplishments and reputation, as well as his degree from a prominent institution not normally open to black students. The agricultural department at Tuskegee Institute, now Tuskegee University, achieved national renown under Carver's leadership with a curriculum and a faculty that he helped to shape. Areas of research and training included methods of crop rotation and the development of alternative cash crops for farmers in areas heavily planted with cotton. This work helped under harsh conditions, including the devastation of the boll weevil in 1892. The development of new crops and diversification of crop use helped to destabilize the livelihoods of people, many former enslaved who had backgrounds not unlike Carver's own. The education of African-American students at Tuskegee contributed directly to the effort of economic stabilization among black people. In addition to formal education in a traditional classroom setting, Carver pioneered a mobile classroom to bring his lessons to farmers. The classroom was known as a Jessup wagon after New York financier and Tuskegee donor Morris Ketchum Jessup. Carver went on to become a prominent scientific expert and one of the most famous African-Americans of his time. Carver achieved international fame in political and professional circles. President Theodore Roosevelt admired his work and sought his advice on agricultural matters in the United States. Carver was also recognized abroad for his scientific expertise. In 1916, he was made a member of the British Royal Society of Arts, a rare honor for an American. Carver also advised Indian leader Mahatma Gandhi on matters of agriculture and nutrition.